person. Uh. I have seen archipelagos of stars and islands whose delirious skies are open to sailors. Do you sleep? Are you exiled in those bottomless nights, million golden birds, O oh life force of the future? But truly, I have wept too much. The dawns are heartbreaking, every moon is atrocious, and every sun bitter. Sharp love has swollen me up with heady languors. Oh, let my keel split. Oh, let me sink to the bottom. The women's associations are one of the most singular movements in the social life of Harar. The Harari population has been associated with different organizations. Little girls are taught the Quran starting at a very early age. Then, when they are old enough, they form associations that are called low associations, which are second-level groups. From there, they move on to the highest level called Afocha. From this age on, they take care of themselves and are even responsible for their families. Although men have their own associations, in reality, women carry out most jobs of responsibility. In fact, if women are mistreated or discriminated against, it is resolved through the associations. There is a book that was written 500 years ago, which talks about how the women of Harar lived together. They were members of a group, and it can be said that this was the first women's association in the world. They have a president, secretary, and their own rules. According to the book, if one of them is mistreated or a member of the family dies, they all help each other. What I want to say is, the struggle of Harari women began a long time ago, and there were even some women that reigned on the throne. Most of the Harari population is Muslim. But here, Islam is conceived as the Prophet really wanted, including equality between men and women. The book more or less talks about these things, among many others. Well, explaining it briefly, it more or less talks about the things that the women here in Harar have been doing for a long time.
Sophie emigrated to Djibouti a few years ago to work as a prostitute. She fell in love with a French soldier and bore his child. Shortly after the birth of the baby, the soldier abandoned her and she had to return home. In order to survive, I established a small kiosk in my home, which is how I take care of my baby. I go to the market, I buy from the wholesalers, and then I resell the things here. I make a five to 10 cent profit. With this money, I can make a living for my child and myself. Well, I live this way and have never returned to Djibouti. He has not returned either. He told me that he was going to take me with him, but I never heard from him again. He once sent me a letter, but I burned it. My son always asks about his father. Every time he sees a white man, he asks me, where is my father? And he asks me if I gave birth without a father. It bothers me. But his father is in his country. Where am I going to find him? I tell him that he is in France and that someday he will come to get him. But since he does not understand, he is always crying. And when I see him cry, I also start to think of him and I feel very bad. When he is older, I want him to know about his family. I want him to meet his father. My son is not easy. He has a strong character. He is not like a normal child here in Ethiopia. I have no family here. I'm alone. In other words, I have no one to help me. I'm trying to move on by myself. A fatherless child is very difficult. He's always thinking about it. And when he sees an airplane, he says his father's up there. Teddy Work sets up her small stall near the main gate of the old city. She has dedicated herself to writing love letters and poems for over 10 years. She writes them to order and charges five cents for them. When I have time, I read a lot at home as well as here. I do not copy the poems from the books that I read, but I invent them myself. They are about love, about loving someone. I know what love is. There are three kinds of love. Love of another person, love of a family, and the love of God. I love God and people as well. I can write in different ways, with different styles. I have experience and I can do it. This is my gift, to write and to compose. Calligraphy is one of the oldest arts in the city of Harar. A dying activity that has been kept alive by half a dozen old calligraphers. I love you, I love you. I love you. 
Arabic script was considered poor before the arrival of Islam. It was a handwriting that did not possess aesthetic value. With the appearance of the Quran, Muslims made an effort to beautify the writing until reaching a grade of excellence. Their aim was not only evocative, but symbolic. Through beauty comes inspiration, and inspiration is the first step on the path towards God. Harar, as the fourth holy city of Islam, was one of the places that consecrated the study of calligraphy. Its calligraphers were put to use in philosophy, medicine, and poetry. Dear Mother, I count on not staying here much longer. You will hear about my departure very soon. I have not found what I was searching for, and I am living in the most boring way and don't take advantage of my time. As soon as I have saved 500 or 2,000 francs, I will leave, and I will do so with the least regret.